in Uganda we have quite a big problem with our power grid and that is because I think they do not is it earthed or I don't know it's not earthed or there's no I, I don't understand but it's just something to do with earthing and uh, you know but because of the frequent blackouts we get whenever power comes back it comes with a real surge and it has become a habit for us once electricity goes off you switch off all sockets in the house even the lights just to ensure that you do not get anything failing when the power comes back so it is something we have learned to do and um, we we'll, we just i mean keep it that way because you can't even sue the utility company when your freezer blows up you can't you know so it's it's, it's I, I don't know but it's a catch to the situation some companies keep crying out industries they get heavy machinery which you know sometimes gets affected and uh, you know they make noise but I think these are things which will take time to change. Uh, for now, we can't do much about it. Uh, then also the other problem we have is that the grid is very limited. The grid is mainly along the highways. It follows the highways. When you get off the highway, you don't get any power. So that is also another problem. So you find that the, the, the limitation in terms of electricity access uh, is very, very severe. It is estimated that only about 4% of Ugandan households do have access to electricity.